Yo, what's going on guys? You're watching Bootstrap 3, Lesson 1. Okay then guys, welcome to the best bootstrap tutorial on the internet. Um, this is quite literally going to teach you to be a bootstrap ninja um, from knowing nothing about it whatsoever. So, let's start with the basics. Right, so what is bootstrap? Bootstrap is a framework, right? And frameworks are designed to help do a lot of the heavy lifting associated with certain tasks. Now, the task that Bootstrap is associated with, or concerned with rather, is creating responsive, feature-rich websites. So when we use Bootstrap, it helps us to create these really quickly and easily. And it also comes with a bunch of cool features and tools that we can use in our websites too. So when we use a framework, we have to write our code in a particular way and we have to write it in the way that the framework wants us to write it. We can't just write it any old way and expect the framework to do a load of stuff for us. It doesn't work like that. We have to write it in the way that the framework wants us to write it. Then we can take advantage of the features it provides us with. Okay, so this is also the case when using Bootstrap. Now, some of those features I talked about are uh, the fluid and grid, uh, sorry, fluid and fixed grid system, right? So it's going to make laying out content on your website a lot easier. Carousels, drop down menus, modals or pop ups, whatever you want to call those things, plus tons of other stuff too. Now, Bootstrap also has a mobile first approach, which basically means that any website you create in Bootstrap is going to look freaking awesome on a mobile. <laughs> but that is only if you code it in the right way, like I say, that Bootstrap wants you to code it in, okay? So when we use it, it's gonna assume that we wanna create a mobile-friendly website, and it's gonna take a lot of that responsive work out of our hands, and it's gonna do all that dirty work behind the scenes so that it's gonna look pretty neat on a mobile. Now, before you embark on this amazing Bootstrap journey, you're probably gonna to wanna to know a few things. The first one is HTML and CSS. And uh, basically, you need to know how to code up a website and style it using CSS. Because if you don't know that, then uh, we're in a bit of a pickle, guys, <laughs> because Bootstrap is all about creating websites. So you might want to check out my beginner HTML and beginner CSS courses. I'll leave a link to both of those in the description down below. Second thing you might want to know is a bit of JavaScript. Not much, just a bit. And probably you can get by without knowing anything whatsoever. But it is going to come in useful when we're going to be using some of the uh, Bootstrap JavaScript features, right? Third of all, oh, by the way, I've got a course on JavaScript, which you can uh, check out by clicking a link in the description also. So yeah, thirdly, um, you might want to know a little bit about responsive development. And uh, basically, Bootstrap is all about creating responsive, cool websites. So you're going to want to know the basics, things like media queries or viewports, because that's not what this tutorial series is all about, okay? So if you don't know that, I've also done a responsive development tutorial series. I'll leave the link to that down below as well. Whew! So once you've checked all that out, let's get cracking on getting you to be a bootstrap ninja. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.